your friends suck. Your friends suck. They are keeping you at some level. And if you try to pull away, they pull you back or talk you down. Your friends suck. Get new friends. Your network is your net worth. You want to be a real estate investor? Stop talking to the, the or stop watching the kid in the mom's basement who's never owned a rental, who's scaring you to death and telling you to stay on your hands in 2020 when it's the second best year ever to buy a home on the affordability scale. How's that feel? Your friends suck. That's my next one. Since 2020, I've purchased three properties because I have friends like you and Matt and Millennial Mike <laughs> and Beth, people that were like, yeah, you should be buying because time in the market is going to help you. Yeah, do the math. Do the math. A lot of poor and middle class people refuse to believe this. They absolutely will fight you tooth and nail when you say this to the right people. And the less a man makes declarative statements, the less apt he is to look foolish in retrospect. So I hate to say the word always or never, uh, but I'm going to. Okay. Nobody has saved their way to wealth. The poor and middle class think you have to save to become rich. That's a step on the ladder, one step on the escalator. If you don't find a way to put your money to work, Kiyosaki says it great. Savers are losers. Your inflation will destroy you. Your ability to save is based on your ability to, in, to have income, which if your money is not working for you, your time is limited. Your, um, your resources are limited. There's only so many hours in a day. It's savers or losers. Find a way to put your money to work. We say it all the time. And, and then they take it one, one step further and they say, well, I'll save once I have money. And they don't, re they refuse to believe that that's not a thing too. Yeah. So my next one is uh, the tax code. The tax code is very clear. I have these conversations with Sean Cannell at Think Media all the time. I think if you have a hobby today, I don't care what that hobby is. Matchback, matchbox cars, easy bake ovens, old Mustangs, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, whatever it is. If you haven't turned that into a content creation business, you are making a mistake. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's just take your cell phone, for example. I use this cell phone every day to do the daily financial news. This cell phone costs money. If I use this as a tool for my content creation business, I get to write it off above the line. If I'm just some Joe Schmo who wants the latest and greatest Apple product and I have to buy it on a monthly fee and blah, 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 you buy it below the line. And if you don't know what those two differences is, you need to go study on YouTube. Go type those in. But there are very simple tax codes. And that's just one example. Not only the $200 or eight, I don't even know what my phone costs because it's a business expense. And then high speed internet. And then this, and then that, and then this. The rich have spent the time to learn how to use the tax code and take expenses that are life expenses, move them from the below the line to above the line. And here's the deal. It's not a secret. It's just they have spent the time to go figure it out. It's not a secret. If you, so if you, let's say you make a hundred grand and you net 80 grand. So you're you're really spending eighty thousand dollars, not a hundred, because the other twenty's gone to taxes. If you could find a way to legitimately take ten grand in expenses and move it to above the line, that's going to make a fundamental difference in your in your business in your life. You'll have more money to spend on other stuff. The tax code is there for everyone. It's not a secret. It's not hard. Use it. <laughs>